What's up everybody, it's Colin here from Sniper's Shot Gaming. Since about August of this year, I've been in control of a GTA 5 online roleplay group composed of a bunch of guys looking to create an Xbox One community for people wanting a DOJ styled roleplay. This video is going to be the first in a long series geared towards possible members, new members, and existing members. In this series, I will make short videos that helps our club become more organized and official by offering short training and requirement videos. In this video, I explain the uniform slash outfits that our club uses and exactly how to get them. So therefore, without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first outfit we're going to be going over here is the police officer outfit. This is the standard outfit that all of our police officers use if they are not specialized in a certain force. Whether you're in Blaine County or Los Santos, everyone will be using this outfit. So let's head over to the tops where we'll get our first shirt. You want to go down to the shirt section. Not t-shirts, not any of that, just plain shirts. Then go down to around number 97 for me and hit blue tucked. That's the one you want to buy. Once you have it, you're going to want to back out of that and we'll start headed over to the pants section. Once you reach this section, you're going to want to head down to team pants and get the black combat pants. Now, a lot of people want to use cargo pants, and this is the reason why you can't. As you see, it is not compatible with the vest we are wearing, and that vest is a necessity for standard police officers. So make sure you get the black team pants. Now, we're going to head over to the uh, boots section. In the Suburban, that's right over here. It says footwear above it. You're going to click A on boots and then head down to tactical boots. You don't want to get black scruffy boots. You want to get the black tactical boots because they look nicer and more polished. Now we're going to go over to hats. This part is completely optional, but if you want a black cap, you are allowed to get a forward black cap. Do not get a backwards one. Now we're going to head over to the sunglasses area. You can only get glasses if you are lieutenant and above. So this is the outfit. As you can see, I am wearing a black tie as well. Unless you are an admin or a higher level, you are not allowed to have a black tie. So as you can see, I was heading over to the accessories area, but I couldn't find it. So uh, now I'm just going to walk over to the cash register and show you the outfit. So overall, it does look very nice and looks like a real police outfit. This is what everyone will be using from Blaine County to Los Santos. And if you're wondering how I got that vest on, you're going to want to go into inventory, then armor, then show the standard armor. That is a necessity. Once you're done with that, you can walk out of the clothing store. Your outfit is completed. Now keep in mind, you do not need to buy the armor in order to have it shown. Have a nice day. And this is our completed outfit. Now without further ado, on to the next one. The second outfit that we have is the fire rescue outfit. Thanks to recent updates, we have much better gear to create this outfit, making it look very nice. So now we're going to head into the store and start walking over to the top section yet again. Once we get into it, you're going to want to head to Tactical Jackets. Side note, it is easier to just go from the top and go down.
Then you're going to want to get the orange tactical mid length. Number 13 for me. Once you're done with that, start walking over to the pants section. In the pants section, you're going to want to go to work pants, and then towards the bottom is sport work pants. After that, we're going to head right on over to the boots area. Go to boots and get the tech boots. Then, go to hats, head down to the riot helmets, and then you're going to want to get the stone gray shielded riot. Once that's complete, your outfit is done. Now without further ado, we're going to get on to the next outfit. The next outfit I have in store for you is the EMS outfit. Now, while many of you might be thinking, why do you have this? The Doomsday Heist gives you an EMS outfit with a glitch. Well, not everyone can get that EMS outfit, so this is the preferred outfit for our club. So now we're going to head into the store, and like so many times before, head over to the tops section. Once you get that, go down to shirts again. No t-shirts, just shirts. Then get the blue tucked. Again, number 97 for me. Now you're going to want to head over to the pants area. Then go into work pants and get the tan work pants. The belt comes with the pants. We've got the biggest selection in San Andreas. Once you're done with that, head over to the footwear section. Go into boots and get black work boots. They should be just below the tactical boots. Then head over to accessories, down to gloves, and get the blue surgical gloves. That is the only accessories you should have for this outfit. Please do not use hats or sunglasses, as in real life, they would interfere with your work. So that is the completed EMS outfit. With that over, on to the next one. Our next outfit is a SWAT uniform. Now you may be looking at this thinking, doesn't that look more like military than police? And the reasoning behind that is, we do not use our SWAT lightly for things like crowd control. When we use them, we use them for combat, which is why we have them geared towards combat. So in order to make this outfit, you're going to want to head into the store and go over to the top section. Go to the bottom and hit the utility tops. Then purchase the black battle vest. Once you're done with that, back out of it, but do not back out of this section entirely. Simply go down to the utility vest and get the black plate carrier. Once you're done with that, back out of the entire thing and head over to the pants. There, you're going to want to go down to utility pants and purchase the black battle pants. Your Once you're done with that, make your way over to the helmets section. Go down to combat helmets and get the black dual lens helmet. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but trust me, it's worth it. Then, go over to the boot section. Purchase the black tactical boots. If you're feeling like it, 
you can go to the accessory section and get some gloves. But I personally do not like them. Once you're done with that, your outfit is complete. This is what the completed outfit looks like. Now, on to the next uniform. The next uniform we have in store is for our air unit teams. You may notice that this looks a lot like the SWAT team. It's essentially just the SWAT team's uniform's little brother. So, without further ado, let's walk into the store and get started with this outfit. I want to head over to the top section, go down all the way to the utility tops, and then get the black battle vest. Back out of that entirely and head over to the pants. Once you are over there, head into the team pants section and get the black combat pants. Then, walk over to the helmets section. Go down to the combat section. And then get the black dual lens helmet. Then, head over to the footwear. Go to boots and get the black flight boots. Once you've purchased them, back out. And then your outfit is complete. Again, gloves are optional, but I just do not like the look of them. This is the completed uh, air unit team outfit. On to the next one. Last but not least, we have our detective outfit. As you can see, it looks rather casual, but still formal. Let's move into the store and get ready to make it. As previously, head over to the top section. Go down to t-shirts. And then get the black t-shirt. It should have no writing on it, just the black t-shirt. Then go to work jackets. And get the black utility bomber. Back out of that and head over to the pants yet again. Once you've hit the pants section, go down to the tan work pants and buy those. Now, we're gonna move over to the footwear. If I can help, just ask. Go into the sneakers and buy any black sneakers. Try to have no writing on them if possible. Then, you can get glasses if you are lieutenant or above. That completes your outfit. Again, gloves are optional, but I do not advise them for this look. And that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for further installments in this series. You may be wondering why I had no civilian outfits, and that's simply because we have no requirements for civilian outfits. They can be as creative as they want. But if you are one of the emergency department roles, make sure you have your exact outfit prepared and ready to go before you start roleplaying.